Okay, now for the most exciting part, connecting our motors. Hi, Mrs. Johanny. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Future. What are we doing? So, do you have your two motors? I've got Look, my two motors. Do you have um, your two motors? I do. I've got one motor here and I've got one motor here. Okay. Just a note, Mrs. Fugil's motors are also DC motors, just another type of DC motor, so it's all good. So now what we need to do is, if you remember, the other end of our wires we kept loose. So first what we've got to do is make sure that they're twisted on, twisted really well. Now it might be handy to have your wire cutter handy and just cut them down. This one's quite long, so I'm just going to trim it down. Why? Because it's quite difficult to put this particular type of wire. Now I'm hoping you guys have a much better type of wire, but this particular one, which is this twisted concept, is terrible. Hopefully you guys have the solid um, piece of wire coming out, so you can just stick it in. But these guys are just terrible. So if you make them shorter, then I guess like it's yeah, it's easier them? to get in. So that one's a bit long too. So voila! All right, so. Now, obviously on our cars, we're going to have a right motor and a left motor. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. This is obviously just a random one of my motors, but I'm going to decide this one to be my right motor. The reason I've decided that is so that I can put it on the right side of my chip. If I have it on the right side of the chip, when I go to code this particular one, I can call it the right motor, and I know this is the one that I'm getting to do something in particular. Mm -hmm. So take the red end. Again, we know that these two ends doesn't really matter, but... Um, because later we're going to code them to do whatever we want, but we'll just start with the red end. Take the red end and find J5 on your breadboard mm -hmm. and stick it carefully into J5. Perfect. Okay. Then find, take your black end of mm -hmm. the same motor and put it into J8. It's really critical that you use J5 and J8, and they should go in nicely okay so those chips so that um actual chip in the middle with the eight on either side mm -hmm. um so you're what you're saying to me is that the third one down yes. is really important for motors and That's the third right. one from the, the bottom, bottom is yes. really important for the ground okay no, actually yeah. the third one down and the third one from the bottom are my two uh pins that will send current to my motor. They can send them in either direction. The code will define which direction that they will be sent in. Ah. So it, again, that's why I said it doesn't matter whether you use the red one or the black one. I've just decided for aesthetics to use the red one on the top. That's it. Because there's nothing that tells us at the motor end that that this is positive and ne negative and there's nothing that tells us at this end and the so wires are made up. It doesn't actually matter. Okay. Yeah. But it's just, it's reminding me. Right. So let's do the same thing. Take your other motor now. Again, check your ends. Make sure that they're twisted enough. If you need to cut them or whatever, do that now. Okay. Can I guess which one they're going to go in? Yeah. That's a great idea. All right. I'm thinking because on the other side I put the red three from the top, then mm -hmm. I'm going to put the red on the, on the other side three from the top, and I'm going to go to A... Would it be A5? Would you I begin? You are correct. Thank you. A5 on the left hand side. And then where would the black one go? Uh, I'm thinking three from the bottom and on the last row. It doesn't really matter that it's the last one, does it? It could be an A, B, C, or D, couldn't it? Absolutely. Because they're all connected in a line. So I guess if I just put it there, it just, because it's already congested in the middle, I'm just trying to create something that's easy to work with. Is that right? Absolutely. All right. That's why we've chosen A and then J on the other side, just to allow us a bit of room to right. move. If I'm having difficulty with my wires, should I just cut them a bit shorter or? Yeah, if you cut them... Not too short, but if you cut them, after you've twisted them, if you yeah. cut them, they should go in quite nicely. So, so far, Mrs. Fugil, what you should have is current going from your motor to your breadboard. Mm -hmm. We had connected that to the top two chips and the bottom one down there. 
We then grounded the middle four chips and mm -hmm. grounded it back to the Arduino there. Yep. And we've now connected our two motors. We've got the one on the right hand side and the one on the left hand side. And they're both connected to the top third, the third from the top pin and third from the bottom pin. Perfect. Cool.